The winner of American Idol Season 10 is... The person staying with us is Brooke. Christy Lee Cook leaves us tonight on American Idol. ゴールドでしてるとわれわれのビスが本部に知られることに心配するな地球人の宇宙工学の専門家を使えばいい一刻も早く金具審査の置物を奪うようにしたいろ北京が置物の謎を解いた以上いつ金具審査が目覚める
America has their job cut out for them. Because if they don't feel that she's got some chance to beat Scotty, it's going to be such a shoulder shrug. First of all, I'm going to kind of have to agree with your readers. Who will it be? Scotty was probably so far ahead of Lauren in votes. Right. And you know how they love to be able to say this was a close one. Right. They still weren't even able to say that. <laughs> They did, you know, you're I mean, right. Now keep in mind, the margin of error on this thing is about 98%. Could be higher. We don't even know how to do margins of error. We talked to two people at a vending machine. After all of that, after Dr. Nazari came out in his scrubs. In his scrubs. Mm -hmm. I, that, that one got me. Mm -hmm. At first I was like, they are not calling the doctor out right now. Before the show, Dr. Nazari was running around. Do you mind if I put you on the spot for a second? Seven hells. But when he came out in scrubs, I was pretty much done. As Diana Ross says in Love Hangover, don't call the doctor. Doctor! Or as TLC sang on Result Show, I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> Was this doctor there during your season, Dr. Nazari? He is one of the top vocal doctors, vocal ENTs. I mean, he is absolutely amazing. Okay. So I definitely give him that. He was there during my season. They've used him for everything. But the thing is... Does he know he walk around happens, in his scrubs? He, I've, I've never really seen him in the scrubs. <laughs> so... That was new for me. It was pure um, theater then. They were black, so it was, he was trying to dress up a little bit since Ryan was like in a bow tie. So maybe, I don't know what was going on with the scrubs. The only doctor with black scrubs. This happens pretty much every finale. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jordan could barely speak. I know that Michael Orland has said that there are so many contestants that by the time you get to this point, your voice is an afterthought. I mean, you barely have anything left. Right. Scotty's voice was probably tired. I mean, everybody's voice was giving out. To make such a big deal out of Lauren. So her vocal cords were really rough and sprained. Kind of like a runner with a badly sprained ankle. It's something that a shot can take care of, so why are we going so crazy about this? It's scary. It's scary when you lose your voice, and I get it. No, Melinda, it was wheelie, wheelie, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just Lauren. I had to say it. I'm a bad person. Okay, Bubbles, calm down. Everything's all right now. I've had to get a steroid shot before where I was at the end of the show, I still had two days left and I had nothing, but there were billboards in the city that I was going to be doing this show. So there was no way around me not singing. And so I've, I've had to get a shot before. It's not necessarily the smartest thing to do, but it's, it's the easiest thing to do to be able to get on stage and do your thing. And it actually kind of gives you a voice of steel. Like it actually kind of adds something. So basically Lauren was like a doped up racehorse during the finale. Pretty like. much. <laughs> Pretty much. So it's, it's a little deceptive because you're like, oh my gosh, I can sing for real right now. Right. And so you can overdo it. I was more worried about her for the finale, finale night, because I thought if she overdoes it, on this shot, then it could be awful for her. Because she could literally be flat on the floor.